recording in progress. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for joining. We've got a good audience already. You're early, so I appreciate that. But we will hold tight just a little bit longer uh, to make sure those people who are showing up on time versus early uh, are able to make it with us. So hold tight, and then we'll get this webinar started soon. For those of you who, who have just joined us, thank you for jumping in. Uh, we've got another minute before I would like to get started. Um, so sit tight if you don't mind, maybe grab a cup of coffee, a Red Bull if you're into that like myself, uh, or just sit tight. We'll be starting here shortly. All right, it is 11 a.m. Mountain Time. That's headquarters here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, I just wanna thank everybody for joining us today for our webinar. Uh, my name is Lyles Armour and I will be your moderator for today. Um, before I get started, um, I do wanna go over a few items uh, for those of you who have not attended a restroom webinar before. Um, the first thing is we do record all of our webinars. Uh, we will email these out to you within 24 hours, concluding this presentation. Um, in addition, we do post all of our website content on our website under the Education Center, as well as on our YouTube channel. So feel free to find us there. Uh, second thing, um, please use the Q&A chat feature in Zoom uh, for any questions that you have specific to today's topic. Uh, as we close out on the presentation, we'll have a Q&A session to go over uh, any of what you guys share there. Um, the third item I have is, as it pertains to the chat feature, uh, try and reserve that specifically for technical issues. If you cannot hear, if you cannot see anything, uh, please share your comments there. Um, the other way that we'd love for you to use that chat feature is to engage with your peers. So, uh, cheer on our speaker, let her know what she's doing great. Also, cheer on your peers and let them know how maybe you are utilizing some of the things that we're covering in today's session. 
Um, and then the last thing that I do want to share is, again, uh, just make sure you keep eyes on future emails from Restream for our webinars, um, as well as visiting our website, um, restream.com slash education to get uh, updates on past presentations or new presentations. And I do see one here. The sound audio is not very loud. I apologize. That's probably me. Uh, I do know our speaker has a better audio setup than myself, so I know it will improve, but I apologize for that, Kelly. Uh, okay, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce you all to Cass Took. Uh, she is our customer content marketing and social media specialist at Restraint. Um, Cass will be walking you through uh, how utilizing Facebook and Meta, or excuse me, Facebook slash Meta and Instagram to capture new hotel bookings. Uh, I know this is a, a new thing here with Facebook's transition to Meta, and I know we're really excited about those bookings that we'll be able to leverage. So, uh, Cass, with, uh, I'll let you go ahead and take it over. Thank you, Lyles, for the warm introduction. Hi, everyone. My name is Cass Took, and I'm happy to be here today to guide you through using Facebook slash Meta and Instagram to capture new hotel bookings. During this webinar, we will learn how to master Facebook systems for promoting your property. We will identify ways to create attention grabbing content to build new relationships with potential new customers. We will learn to implement new ideas for reaching new audiences and learn simple tricks to save time on creating content. Today, we are going to explore a few topics in this webinar. I will tell you a little more about me in the next slide about Redstream, detail my work here at Redstream jump into marketing and Facebook on, and Instagram, give a little recap, and then open the floor to any questions you may have. Here's a little about Redstream. We're a small company of caring and passionate individuals. We view ourselves as an extension of your team. We have 100 years of combined industry experience, and we have a suite of solutions focused on helping your independently owned properties. I work as the content marketing and social media specialist here at Restream. I'll dive more into the aspects of this job in the next slide. I started this job in April of this year, and I've been really enjoying my time creating content for our unique clientele and learning more about their properties all throughout the country. With three years of professional experience, I've utilized my skills as a digital marketing creative with work in social media, content creation, market research, and digital communications. After leading initiatives across multiple organizations, I've strengthened social media engagement for my clientele and bolstered what made each brand unique to their audiences. I moved to Denver earlier this year in January. My boyfriend of five years is originally from Colorado and wanted to move back to the mountains. Once he had the opportunity, I tagged along to start a new adventure in my life. I'm originally from Houston, Texas. I lived there all my life, and there I strengthened my digital marketing skills by attending the Jack J. Valenti School of Communications at the University of Houston. While balancing work and school, I earned my BA degree in public relations and a minor in marketing. When I'm not working, I love watching movies, especially here at Alamo Draft House. That's a cool movie theater originally started in Texas that plays all types of movies from new releases to cult classics, which are my absolute favorites. I got very excited when I learned that I live next to three Alamo draft houses here in Denver. I love music, especially artists like David Bowie and newcomers like Harry Styles. My boyfriend and I love riding our bikes together, especially here in Denver, since there are so many bike trails. I also love baking and with the great British baking show being one of my favorite TV shows. It's my dream to get that Paul Hollywood handshake. I develop and promote monthly social media calendars for 20 plus clients here at Redstream. I schedule, post, and mon manage content on various social media networks and identify missed opportunities and new trends in social media and other con content marketing aspects. Facebook is the primary social media network our clients use, along with Instagram. I curate eye-popping and engaging content for all our clientele's audiences that establishes unique relationships with each follower that leads to potential bookings. Now we're going to dive into the tackling the world of Facebook and Instagram. When it comes to marketing your property, 
There is no company in the world that has more information about its users than Facebook. It includes much more than just your age, gender, and location. While those things are valuable for marketing purposes, Facebook also knows which website you visit and how often, how much time you spend various things on doing various things online and what you purchase. From a business marketing standpoint, that stuff is gold. And thankfully it's right there for the taking if you know where to find it and how to use it. That's where a social media presence comes into play. Our goal in implementing Facebook and Instagram presence is to drive direct bookings along with boosting awareness of our properties. Our content will be engaging and will drive people to click on our pages and posts, encouraging them to learn more and further their planning phase of a vacation. The way we present ourselves, the audience we target, the medium we use, and several other factors will play a major role in how success successful your social media strategy will be. But first and foremost, we need to know as much as possible about your existing customer base. This includes the kind of habits they have on social media and elsewhere online. This information will also inform our approach to attracting new customers. Identifying your audience. This information includes identifying age, gender, education, work, income levels, where they live, interests, aspirations, and whether they have kids. Face, using Facebook Insights is a great way to discover these aspects and in Google Analytics under the audience report. Discovering how to introduce yourself to them. After identifying your audience, we will figure out how to communicate with them most effectively. What do they respond to? We can figure this out by creating engaging content. Let's take a look at our insights. We're going to head over to Facebook Insights and Google Analytics. So we're going to use Reststream as an example. This is our page right here. And when you're on your page, you're going to see a panel like this over here on the left. Under Meta Business Suite, we're going to see Insights. This is the page you're going to want to click on. And right here is the overview of our Insights, which reviews performance results and more. And this is going to be a report from the last 28 days. Right here, you're gonna see how our paid reach is doing. This is reach brought on by an ad campaign and our organic Facebook reach, meaning just a normal, regular post. Right here is the content we've posted recently. Here is our audience, the amount of Facebook page likes we have and the age and gender that is viewing our content on Facebook. We're gonna go over to results. And again, this shows our organic Facebook reach from the last 28 days. And then we're gonna to go to add trends. And it's gonna show us how well we've been doing with paid reach and paid impressions. The reach is how many people it's gone to and impressions is how many people we that have interacted with the post. We're gonna to go to audiences. This is our current audiences. Again, this is the men and women and what age are looking at our content. We have our top cities right here and the top countries looking at our content as well. On Google Analytics, to see what our audiences are like, we're gonna go to the audience panel under interests and overview, and it's gonna bring us to these three categories right here. The affinity category is used to reach new potential customers to make them aware of your business. The in-market segment uses is users in this segment that are more likely to be ready to purchase products or services in this, this specified category. An other category represents users who don't fit into the Google affinity and in-market category, but may provide valuable insights into creative ways to reach out to users in a way your competitors may not be considering. When starting an ad campaign and you don't know where to start with targeting and audiences, this is a good panel to look at and see which kind of audience you wanna pull from. You may be asking yourself right now, what should I start posting? When using Facebook and Instagram, there are many unique options for sharing organic content on your page. The classic options are always sharing eye-popping photography. These photos can be of your property, including your rooms and other unique amenities such as the pool area, 
a garden, or scenery around your property. You can also share photos of the city you're located in. This way, audiences can learn more about the area and its culture. You can highlight landmarks, activities, events, and local spots for dining. Videos are becoming more and more popular on Instagram and Facebook thanks to apps like TikTok. In fact, Instagram Reels now receive more engagement than regular video content by 22%. Video content gives you a more immersive look into aspects of your property. You don't need a professional film setup to create quality video content either. So don't hesitate to pull out your phone and record videos highlighting of what makes your property stand out. We have three major keys to producing great video content. Have authenticity, let the content be natural and not forced to seem appealing. Produce a good video, something you wanna watch. If you choose to have dialogue in your video, make sure the scripting is solid and will captivate audiences. Both video and photo posts should include engaging captions, welcoming your followers to start a conversation with you. You can provide your audiences a look into staying with you by sharing positive customer views pulled from Google or other sites such as TripAdvisor. Utilize graphic makers like Canva and to create appealing visuals sharing customers' great experiences while staying with you. Once shared, users can learn more about what it's like staying with you, making a stay with you more appealing. Another way to reach more audiences and to strengthen your reach is to utilize Facebook advertising. This is a paid tool to implement goals such as more website visits, page likes, promoting booking specials, and obtaining direct bookings through a boosted reach. Facebook advertising campaigns are becoming more vital as social media continues to evolve. Facebook ads can target audiences in unique ways and have opportunities for you to reach more audiences in ways you've never thought of. We'll learn more about ads in the next few slides. Pictured here are some examples of what engaging Facebook posts can look like for your property. You can highlight your amenities, promote direct bookings, and highlight what your accommodations look like. Pictured here are some examples of what your customer feedback graphics can look like, along with the type of copy you can include in the post as well. Pictured here are the sample ads of what Facebook ads will look like to users using browsing through their mobile feed. You should use high quality and eye catching photos for ads, ranging from pictures of your property or, or the surroundings of your city. You can use more than one photo. Image carousels allow multiple photos for users to view. Ads will look similar on Instagram as well and include the call to action and links to your desired landing page. Ads will appear on Instagram stories as well while a viewer while a user is viewing those. The designated landing page when users click the ad can lead to the accommodations page or your direct booking page. Always include a call to action, whether it is calling for a direct booking or alerting users to not miss out on the promotion you are running, including your location and local activity slash attra attraction will also grab users' attention. You wanna keep the ad copy short too many words can detract users from reading more into your advertisement and just keep scrolling. Ad fatigue is a major factor while an ad is running too. You don't want your audiences to grow tiresome of your content, so make sure the content is always captivating. There are many ways you can approach your Facebook marketing campaign, but any activity will be a disaster unless we are targeting the right audience. Here's a rundown of how we can scale your marketing on Facebook to optimize results. We need to discover custom using your customer database. We will upload phone numbers, email addresses, Facebook user IDs, and app user IDs. This information will then be matched to as many user profiles as possible. Look alike. Now that we have a picture of your customer database, Facebook can find similar users to open a whole new set of potential customers age and gender. Targeting the right age and gender of your user is important for effective marketing. Luckily, this is easy to do on Facebook. Detailed targeting. This approach is used to target new customers or people who have never heard of your business before. It involves demographics, interests, behaviors, and other categories. Location. This is important, especially for a local business. As will specifically target a region, city, state, or a country that can make a direct booking. 
we recommend three types of demographic tactics while implementing Facebook ad campaigns. The most useful ones we recommend are location. If there are certain areas you want to boost your awareness, Facebook allows you to target as many as target any area you desire. These can be cities within your state or neighboring states. Detailed targeting. We like to target things such as travel slash hotels and accommodations, travel slash trips by destination, trips to North America, trips to the US, and travel buffs. The option to select these target audiences will be available when creating your Facebook ad. You can also target topics related to activities in your areas like skiing, mountain climbing, or whatever relates to your surroundings. Age and gender. Facebook Insights is a great way to see what demographics such as age and gender are interested in your content. You can target your top ages or, and gender or target the audiences that are looking at your content less. The audience targeting lets you decide who you should see who should see your ad by creating an audience based on things like age, interest, and locations. You have different options when choosing your audiences, including smart audiences, a new type of audience that allows advertisers to begin serving ads immediately, seeing results faster, and augmenting their current audiences. It is a proprietary pre-built audience specifically created to see, help you see an ROI as quickly as possible. The audience may expand over time in order to reach more relevant people who may be interested in your business. People you choose through targeting. This is a detail. This targeting is specific for certain locations, age, and detailed targeting through interests, i.e., like Colorado, animals, nature, and tourism. People who like your page. People like custom audiences is an ad targeting option that lets you find your existing audience among people who are on Facebook. It can also be specific for a location and age slash gender. People who like your page and people similar to them. This is a group of people who are likely to be interested in your business because they're similar to your existing customer base. People are in your area. This targeting can be utilized for strictly for people in your area. The miles away from you can be adjusted from one to 50 miles away. When selecting target audiences while creating a Facebook ad, we like to start by selecting the smart audience option. We will plug in the detailed audience specifications such as location, age, and people who match certain interests, i.e. travel slash hotels and accommodations, travel slash trips by destination, trips to North America, trips to the US, travel buffs, etc. Smart audience advertising is a viable option because it predicts the interests of internet browsers using artificial intelligence. It starts immediately once the ad is approved by Facebook, bringing you results for your desired goal sooner. Before running your ad campaign, you need to consider how long you want to run the ad. Reststream encourages business owners to run ads for 90 days, allowing ample time to see how much traffic is drawn from the ad. That amount of time does not limit Facebook's ability to optimize the ad and shows you what is and what isn't working. From a small or large budget, you will be able to track views and clicks when running a Facebook ad. The more your daily budget is increased, the more people will be reached on Facebook and Instagram. While we encouraging, while we encourage reaching as many people as possible, it is entirely up to your team for how many views and clicks you desire to coordinate with your budget. Let's take a look at Facebook at creating a Facebook ad. We're going to head over to the Facebook Ad Center. Again, so we're going to go to Home. And under Insight, oops, sorry about that. We're going to go to Not Insights. We're going to go to Ads. <laughs> Just going to let the page load here. OK, so right here, we're going to see our ad summary. As you can see, Redstream has not ran any ads, so there is no information about the last 60 days. It'll show from our last ad, the post engagement we got, and by category, you'll see age and gender, placements, and location. This was the age and gender, the one that did the best. 
the placements. This will be where it goes on social media, ranging from mobile devices and our locations. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to create an ad. So we are going to go to this button right here at the top right. Okay, getting started. Here is what we want to do or what it recommends for us to do. We have get more website visitors, boost a post, get more messages, promote our page, promote our business locally, or get more leads. We're going to get more website visitors. So right here, this is our ad creative and how our, we want our ad to look. This is where we'll put our copy right here. Media, we have five, we can choose up to five photos to choose for view, uh, users to view. This is our headline. And the button label is sort of our call to action right here. Typically when we want to go to book now, and then under the website URL, that's where you can put whatever landing page ranging from an accommodation to a book direct page. Again, we like to use smart audience. This is audience is based on your page details and will automatically adjust over time. And it shows us our location, our age, the people who mass match these certain interests. And these are right here, pretty random, but you can make them whatever you want. And then our other op options for audience targeting. Right here is where we can start our ad. Uh, we could start it either like today, or if you wanted to start it from like a week from now, you can do that as well. And typically we want to run them for 90 days and you will see that change to the desired date 90 days from now. And you will also see right here, the budget in total for 90 days. This is our daily budget. As you can see with $5 a day, this is how many people it will reach. And if we bring it up, it grows more. As we can see here, if we go to $20 a day, that will reach 2.2K to 6.4K people. And if we want to bring it down, you'll see that it also lessens. And as you adjust this, you will see that this number goes up and down as well. Once we, once we have everything done in the ad creative, our audience, the schedule and duration, we get to review this one more time, have whatever payment you have ready to go, and then we will press promote now. And after that, Facebook will take typically about maybe a half a day, full day to approve it. And once it approved, it is ready for users to see. If you find that one advertisement did better than the other, Take note, that ad can be repackaged with a few modifications to look new again, and thus attract just as much attention as, as it did as the first time. Any Facebook marketing campaign calls for systematic monitoring. That's why we at Redstream measure analytic data, such as advertising metrics, page level metrics, engagement rate, total page likes, and other metrics. You can implement conversion tracking, so we can use Google Analytics to measure website sessions, online bookings, revenue, and et cetera, that comes from the ads. It can take some time for your business to grow and develop a devoted following. So don't be discouraged if your posts aren't doing numbers from the get-go. When establishing your social media presence, ask yourself these three questions. Is your content attention grabbing? A helpful tip is to produce content that you would find interesting as well. Do you have a compelling call to action? Your copy should convince users the benefit of staying at your property during their vacation. Am I targeting the right audience? If you don't narrow down your targeting, then your audience will be too broad. If your audience is too small, you won't reach enough people to get the engagement and reach you need. Let's recap. When starting your social media strategy, your presence will be more prominent when you attract the right audiences. Facebook Insights is there to guide you through what audiences are looking at your content. Make sure you are creating content that will establish a strong relationship with them, ensuring engagement that will lead to direct bookings for your property. Your visuals should stand out against other posts while users are scrolling through their feed. And the copy should also elicit attention as well. 
always include a call to action in your post or a question to spark feedback from your users. Creating Facebook advertising campaigns will also bolster your reach to audiences throughout the World Wide Web. With strategic targeting, you will be able to spread the awareness of your property to whomever you desire. That concludes our webinar today on using Facebook slash Meta and Instagram to capture new hotel bookings. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you leave this discussion today with a better knowledge of conquering the social media mountain that is Facebook. Files, how about we look at some questions from our attendees? Awesome. No, Cass, that was amazing. Thank you so much for uh, spending some time there. Um, I put in the chat for you all, if you aren't already following Rushstream on Facebook, uh, please do. I shared that link. Um, and again, Cass, thank you for jumping in and showing some real live examples of kind of how to set some of those things up. Uh, let me pull up our Q&A log. Um, again, for those of you who have any questions, definitely take the moment now to think about that. Um, and we'll obviously spend some time here addressing them. One of the questions I do see, Cass, for you, it is, can I see who clicked my Facebook ads? That's a great question. Um, unfortunately, no. Facebook is the only one who gets to know that information. Um, but you do get to see how many people who have seen the ad. You can see that in your ad details whenever you go to your ad center on Facebook. Um, you also get to see who's clicked the ad and how much money you've been spending on the ad as well. No, that's a good answer. Hopefully that addresses that and can't get everything we want, right? <laughs> uh, another question I have here, uh, they say they're a smaller scale business. So will Facebook ads work if I run a smaller scale hotel? Oh, absolutely. It accommodates a business of really like any size. Um, you're able to adjust the budget to whatever is comfortable for your business. So if you just want to run like a small campaign, it accommodates that and with budget and how long you want to run it as well. Um, and you also still have access to a wide variety of audiences to reach, no matter like how big your business is as well. It's all waiting for you. Awesome. we got more questions rolling in. This is good. Appreciate all the engagement here. Um, another question I have for you, um, and I'm just going to read this is by Harry. Thank you. I'm in my insights page on Facebook. We run ads and there is a, a lot of data there, but there's no info on the user's interests. Where do I find that? It's a great question. Um, another a way to find that is to go through the um, Google Analytics, looking through all those demographics that I showed through the webinar, you can choose through those. It's really up to you um, who to select. If there's a certain like demographic you want to target, like let's say if you have a property near a ski lodge, if you want to target, you know, skiers, like all kinds of snow activities, you'll be able to do that. You simply just type in, uh, you know, skiing and things like that. And again, if you're still kind of lost, you can go through Google Analytics. You can look through all those segments and see what the top ones looking at your content and your property, and you can choose those as well. Good deal. Hopefully that uh, answers that for you, Harry. Um, and again, we'll be sending out the copy of the recording, so you guys will be able to circle back and see exactly where Cass navigated. Uh, another question I have here it, uh, starts with thank you. Thank you for sharing some long term 90 day ad ideas. What are your thoughts on paid social media for last minute availability? I think that's a great idea. That is um, just the key to that is just timing it correctly. Make sure, you know, you have your copy set of, you know, how that'll grab attention since this is sort of like time sensitive. Same with graphics. And again, just time it correctly. Um, make sure your ad duration is great. And I think that would work. Awesome, awesome. Uh, and then this one's similar. And I know there's some questions that came in ahead. So I'm just bouncing around to kind of keep the, the conversation going here. Uh, but this one said, you mentioned running ads for 90 days. If we were interested in trying to boost bookings for stay, call it September, what uh, would placing an ad on Facebook be effective? 
Oh, absolutely. Um, you could start running that right now. And like, again, just adding in your copy, like if you just want to say like, you know, avail bookings available in September, you can do that easily. And you can also have it, I believe, stretch out to the month of September as well. Good deal. And then I have another one here. This is awesome. I really appreciate the engagement. Thank you for all the questions. Uh, feel free to keep them coming. Uh, next question here by you, Joshua. Thank you again. Is Facebook's algorithm similar to Instagram, where the more you post, the more Facebook will get your post in front of people? Um, absolutely, especially since uh, Facebook owns Instagram, that algorithms work very similarly, especially on your feed. Um, chronological order is not really a thing anymore on Facebook and Instagram. So it is a bit of a competition for your followers to see your content first. So yeah, the key to that is always engagement. Um, and one way to get good engagement is again, having like, you know, a question for your audience so they can um, chime in and you can start a conversation with them. And also just like eye grabbing posts as well. No, that's good. And don't forget guys, the whole idea of the social media platforms is to be social, right? So I don't think you can over uh, socialize on those channels. Um, I have one last question for you, Cass, here. Um, how do you know if your ads are working? That's a great question. So you can see the conversions of your ads uh, to bookings on Google Analytics, if you're set up on there, of course. Um, you just head over to Google Analytics. You're going to go to acquisition, then all traffic. And finally, source slash medium, you'll be able to see how many Facebook referrals you've gotten during a certain time period, and then the revenue you've pulled in as well. Um, if that's a little complicated of an answer and you need a visual, feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to show you as well. No, and I think that's a perfect transition. So again, thank you all for the Q&A. Uh, hopefully you got uh, those questions answered. If you obviously want to dive a little bit deeper into how that all comes together, please do reach out to Reststream. Uh, for those of you who are current uh, clients of Reststream, uh, if you're using our marketing services, reach out to your account manager, have them schedule a meeting. You guys can jump into the social media strategy and how it's going to be approached on your account or what we're doing or what we're planning on. Uh, for those of, who, those of you who are not using our services, again, we encourage you to reach out. We'd be more than happy to help build a a, a social strategy that drives your brand forward. Um, and who knows, you'll probably be working with CAS to deliver on that. Um, so with that, I will close out today's webinar. Again, uh, keep an eye on the email for the recording and uh, future emails for our webinars uh, that are upcoming here. Uh, thank you all again for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.